So I want you all to imagine a scenario with me. It's April, you're sitting in the classroom and having a math class. Your teacher asks you to spend a great portion of your weekend solving second degree equations. And since you have so many things that you would rather do, you just can't see the point of solving second degree equations. And you ask your teacher, when am I going to actually use this? Now, your teacher would probably answer that you never know what career you will choose and you might end up using this in a specific field. But let's be honest, how many adults did actually choose a math-related field and are now solving second-degree equations? Now, let's replay this scenario and let's imagine that your teacher answers that you are actually using this equation, for example, unconsciously and every day. Now, would you believe him? Well, it turns out that we are indeed using this equation, not the equation itself, but its positive solution, x equals 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2, referred to as the golden ratio, or also known as phi. Now, the golden ratio results when a line is divided in a very specific way. In fact, if the ratio, there is one unique point at which the ratio of the large piece equal to the, to the smaller piece equals the ratio of the whole string to the larger piece. In other words, A divided by B equals A plus B divided by A. Now, mathematically, the golden ratio has been associated with the Fibonacci sequence. In fact, the series is too simple. You keep adding two numbers to get the next one. So, for example, 0 plus 1 gives us 1, 1 plus 1 gives us 2, 2 plus 1 gives us 3, 3 plus 2 gives us 5, and so on. Now, the relationship to the golden ratio is determined when you divide each number by the previous one. The further you go, the closer you get to the Fibonacci series, to the golden ratio. Now, here comes the fun part. When we find beauty, whether it is in a breathtaking view, a beautiful sunset, or a pretty face of a model, your heart starts bumping and you get these butterflies in your stomach and everything seems like magic. Well, I'm sorry, but magic doesn't play a role when it comes to your attraction to beauty. And it turns out to be a set of specific criteria which obey to a mathematical formula. Now, when a group of people were asked to rank five different faces from the most beautiful to the least beautiful, they agreed on the same ranking in 88% of the times. This actually confirms that our brain is constantly looking for specific face proportions, which turned out to obey to some aspect of the golden ratio. And while the proverb goes, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, mathematicians affirm that beauty is in the eye of the phi beholder. And here's how. For example, when you divide the length of the face by its width, if the result is close to 1.5, then you have a golden ratio. Additionally, if the three segments of the face, going from the top of the forehead to the spot between the eyes, from between the eyes to the bottom of the nose, and from there to the bottom of the chin, if the segments are equal, then the face is more beautiful. Moreover, moreover, if the, the width of the eye equals the distance between both the eyes, then the face is more symmetric. But the question is why? Why is golden ratio so important when it comes to beauty? The only explanation that we can provide is laziness. Yes, our brain is lazy, yet too intelligent. And here's how it works. When less neurons work in order to decode a face proportions, our brain considers this face as beautiful. So when the face is symmetric, then it is easier for the neurons to decode the face proportions, and therefore it is more beautiful. Now this has actually led to the creation of several mobile applications and photo editors according to the golden ratio. Because what turns out to attract us in a person is not his eyes, nor his smile, or his hair. But it is a mathematical formula, and which is the golden ratio. Now, since the Fibonacci sequence 
and the golden ratio are known for their great ability of linking things together and giving more harmony and balance to the design. Major companies such as Google and Toyota use it to create their logos and therefore create more impact on their consumers. Additionally, golden ratio has been valued during history. Being described as the jewel of geometry by Johannes Kepler, several painters such as Leonardo da Vinci and Dali knew its value and expressed it in their paintings, such as the Mona Lisa and the Futurist Men. Now, since the golden ratio concerns only physical beauty, it is definitely a fraction that shows us how amazing maths are. And we are surrounded by maths from nature to people to patterns everywhere. And these can only be images to show us and give us insight into how the power and how amazing mathematics are. Thank you.